Hi, today I wanted to share with you uh, my finished llama from DIY Crochet Kit I unboxed in my previous video. I will link it down below if you're uh, curious what came with the kit. As you can see, uh, it looks a little bit different than what's on the box. I did different nose, uh, eyes are further away, but also I used different yarn for the blanket. It was my first time doing Tunisian crochet and uh, I wasn't happy with the result from, you know, the first uh, try, so I redid it. I got this comment from Splats9671 uh, under my previous video and I have to say I will not do entire tutorial on this llama. It took me uh, around three days to make it without a recording and with this yarn, you know, I have to use stitch markers in every stitch I do, so it would be a couple hours long video. But I have some yarn left and I can show you how to do row 14. Row 14 basically uh, makes the back of the llama, right? So it goes from the neck to the back. And as you keep going further on, it just comes together. But yeah, as you can see, I'm using st stitch markers, a lot of stitch markers. I have like 100 stitch markers at the moment and they came in very handy. Um, I will speed up the entire process so we don't sit here for <laughs> over 40 minutes uh yeah but this is my tip if you're working with uh, fluffy yarn use stitch markers so you don't miss anything you know fluffy yarn is uh, very forgiving like it hides certain mistakes but it's better to <laughs> avoid them <laughs> The neck is basically chain 18, then you have 13 rounds of uh, 18 single crochets and as you uh, reach uh, round number 14, uh, stitch count changes from 18 to 39. Because you chain 8, then you have to go down the chain, you know, do the increase uh, 6 single crochets, you reach your neck, go around it and uh, go up the chain so it changes uh, the end point of the round right the end point was uh, previously on the neck now it's up the part you just uh, you just made it all comes together later on in round 15 16 and later on you will um, start seeing the shape I'm not sure if that makes sense and uh, if I'm explaining it good, but I also think this pattern doesn't explain it good. Like, I had other pattern, I think I bought it on Etsy, and it had similar uh, trick to make the shape of the body, and it had pictures and way better word explanation than this one does. Which brings me to my final thoughts about this kit. I liked the llama that I made with this kit. Uh, I think it's cute, even though at first I was like, it's a mix of teddy bear and a duck. But I don't think it's beginner friendly at all. I mean, not only because of the yarn that is very hard to work with, but also you have to learn so many new things at once, including Tunisian simple stitch that I had to learn to make this blanket and I fucked it up the first time I did it and then I decided to switch yarn to cotton and I think it worked out pretty well but what do you think? let me know in the comments below and if you would like to see more videos from me don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you in the next one, bye! Thank you.